guys, this is Tofty's World here, back with another video. And today, we will be doing the unboxing of the Cube Timer. I just got it. I went to a competition and I bought it. So, let's just test out this timer. So, let's open it. Let's see this. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the timer and we've got a wire. I think that's used for connecting to our computer or something. I don't know. We'll find about that later. And anyways, let's just get a better view. This just a second. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let's just do the power button. Okay. So. I think we have to get some batteries, so I actually put a screwdriver and some batteries beside me. And yeah, that's for connecting to the computer. And apparently it's supposed to be at the back, the compartment where you can open your timer. So let's just open up our timer real quick. Okay, I think there's some magnets on the sides. Yep, there's some magnets here for holding the timer together. I will anyways, let's just remove this screw. Okay. Okay, that's good. So I think there's got to be another battery I should keep over here. One fits in here and one fits in there. So let's just put this in as well. So let's insert this battery inside. And now let's put this one inside as well. Okay. Now let's close this. And let's just put the screw. Okay. Okay, now let's just put the top back on and it just fits together like that and I see there's a little like space over here I think it's so that when you put your hands down like it goes down and as you can see the lights are pretty bright let's just get a closer view of this okay So if you like, just put both your hands down, the timer starts, and then you do that, you put your hands back on, it stops, and then there's the reset button for you setting your time, power button for turning it off, okay? Well anyways, I really want to check out how this wire works, so let's just go and check that out after a minute. Uh, I think uh, the lights are kind of bright actually for me they're way too bright it kind of hurts your eyes well anyways it's still a good timer the thing I like about it is that it actually feels nice since there's some space here so when you put your hands down like it just feels nice so anyways well let's just uh, uh, get into some Solves and I'll be right back with my Rubik's back Cube. Back with my Rubik's Cube, I decided to get the 2x2 two two since the 3x3 three three will take some time to solve since I solve it in like about 25 seconds. Well, anyways, let's just turn it on and I'm going to show you guys how you're supposed to use it. So you put your hands down like that and then wait till the green light turns on, then release and then the timer starts. Then you put your hands down again, the timer stops and then you have to hit the reset button or else your timer is not gonna start since you've got to reset your time <clears throat> so anyways let's just get into a solve I wanna try this timer okay that wasn't that good well anyways let's just do another solve and then I wanna connect the wire to the computer
Okay, this one was good. Well, anyways, I'll be back once I connect the wire to the computer. I am back. Oh, and now I've got my timer connected to the computer. And actually, for the wire, there's one small port, and then there's one big one, which you have to... It's the size of the headphone port, but you're not supposed to connect it to the headphone port. You're supposed to connect it to the microphone port. And anyways... So, for setting my timer, I had to, uh, on CS Timer, I had to click on options over there. And then, as you can see, there's this timer option over here. And then there's entering times with timer typing, stack mat, and virtual. You just have to click on stack mat, and then you can start using your timer on this. And let's just do a couple of solves, and uh, you can wrap up this video and if you guys are wondering I use Ortega for solving the, the 2x2 Rubik's Cube so if you guys want me to upload a video on that I will upload a video on how to solve a 2x2 using the Ortega method well anyways let's just do some solves using the timer Well, anyways, uh, the good part about connecting your timer to the computer is that you can, uh, like, you can see your average and all that while using the timer, which I think is pretty good. So let's just do another song, and please comment down below if you guys want me to upload a video on our Tega method. But in this song, I'm going to be using Ray right there, since the Ray is pretty easy. Okay. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and please, please, please comment if you want the Ortega Method tutorial and I will try to see if I can make one and I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned.